The Backup Gateway 2 provides energy management and monitoring for solar self-consumption, time-based control, and backup. It can be deployed as part of a whole or partial home backup system and paired with either Powerwall 2 or Powerwall Plus. The Backup Gateway 2 controls connection to the grid, automatically detecting outages and providing a seamless transition to backup power. Upon loss of supply voltage, the Backup Gateway 2 disconnects all downstream loads from the grid and signals the power wall to form a microgrid. All the circuits on the load side of the Backup Gateway 2 are backed up, either the entire home or selected loads. Any circuits tied to the non-backup lugs will not be backed up. This may be done for large loads such as water pumps and air conditioning units. The Backup Gateway 2 must be installed upstream of any backed up solar or power wall outputs. An internal panel board kit is available as an optional accessory. This can be used to house backup loads and generation sources. Alternatively, it can be used to house non-backup loads. Behind the enclosure, the dead front has knockouts for breakers mounted on the internal panel board kit and for an optional main breaker. The Backup Gateway 2 can accept Eaton CSR, BW or BWH type breakers rated between 100 and 200 amps to act as the main service disconnect. There is a service only manual override switch accessible behind a window on the dead front. The reset button and status LEDs are located near the top of the unit. The ground bar is located at the bottom right of the enclosure. Above the ground bar, are the supply lugs. These connect to an incoming feed, either the service entrance conductors from the meter or conductors from the main panel. There is a space to mount an optional main circuit breaker. If the backup gateway 2 is being used as service equipment, this will be the main disconnect for the system. The primary meter, also known as meter X, has embedded current transformers that will measure the current flow through the supply connections. Above these CTs is the contactor, which opens if the system detects that it is off-grid. At the bottom, the outside set of lugs are the neutral connections. The Backup Gateway 2 is shipped with the neutral bonded to ground. Remove the bonding strap if the Backup Gateway 2 is not serving as the main point of disconnect. The inner lugs are the load side backup lugs. The two sets of parallel lugs are available to feed downstream backed up circuits. To the left are the non-backup lugs that can support up to 100 amps. For example, this may be used for excluding large loads such as pumps and air conditioning units that exceed the capacity of the system. The optional internal panel board kit has a 6-space, 12-single-pole circuit bus bar. The kit can be used to house backup generation sources and or backed up circuits. The internal panel board kit comes with pre-made feeders to connect to the load side backed up lugs. Alternatively, the kit can be used for non-backup loads. The internal panel board kit may eliminate the need for an additional sub-panel. Included in the kit is a custom breaker hold-down. This hold-down is used to comply with code requirements relating to back-fed circuit breakers. At the top of the unit are the internal auxiliary meter connections, also known as meter Y. 100 amp auxiliary CTs provided by Tesla will primarily be used to monitor solar inverters landed within or adjacent to the gateway. They may also be used for site or conductor monitoring as long as the 100 amp limit is not exceeded. Above the CT connections are the antenna bar, reset button, and status LEDs. At the top right is an Ethernet port and the communications connectors. These are used to connect to Tesla, communicate with the power wall, for auxiliary functions like a remote system shutdown switch. Note that the system will not function without a jumper wire or a normally closed disable circuit in place. Only remove the jumper if you are installing a switch. The remaining connectors are for hard wiring optional external energy meters and jump starting the unit if installed during a grid outage. In subsequent videos, we will cover preparing the backup gateway 2 for mounting and wiring. Please review these videos carefully and consider our recommendations for the various scenarios you may encounter in the field.